In today's world, being a public figure can be both exciting and challenging. Whether you're a celebrity or a public office holder, the line between private and public duties can often get blurred. But one thing remains clear. Everyone deserves their private moment. It's important that we all understand to respect that boundary, even for those constantly in the public eyes. In recent times, we have seen several lightning moments go viral, like dance videos of some of our popular governor and official public um, office holders. Like, remember the vibrant governor Adeleke, who is popularly known for his energetic dance moves this moment shows us that behind the office these leaders are humans too seeing these leaders letting loose like enjoying themselves like almost every other person it adds that layer of connection but however there are moments where these candid scenes meant to be private are shared without these people's consent and that's where things get tricky Remember recently during the Gongogongons dance challenge, Governor Charles Soludo of Anambara State became the subject of an unexpected controversy when a video of him dancing to the popular challenge went viral. Now, the dance took place during the state's 33 um, anniversary celebration. Remember also that the song itself was a massive hit. Even till now, some people still dance with it, with countless uh, people still joining even after it has died down for some time. But here's where things take its turn. The governor specifically asked that this moment be shared private with no cameras, no phone recording the event. But however, one of his aides went against the request and leaked the video. Governor Soludo was simply enjoying a light-hearted moment with other officials and guests at the event. But the leak um, quickly went viral online, turning into a viral sensation. Despite the governor's clear request for privacy, the video was shared without his permission. It didn't take long before the internet caught on it. But the backlash wasn't just about the video. It led to the dismissal of the aide responsible for the leak. So my question is, was firing the aide the right decision? Now, many people believe that the governor was justified in taking such action, considering the breach of trust. After all, privacy was specifically requested. But then, another perspective is, the Gwagwagondon dance challenge is innocent fun and the video itself was not inappropriate. Some believe Governor Soludo should have used this moment to embrace the variety and even promote the actors behind the song. Rather than focusing on the negative, this could have been an opportunity to highlight local talent and culture. Um, we have seen similar moments works wonder for other leaders. Remember how uh, Governor Adelike used to dance to um, Davido's songs and other artist songs, dancing in public. It shows us how human these leaders can be and makes them also approachable. Now, instead of turning this um, sack um, thing into a controversy where people will be discussing, it could have, it could have been uh, a great PR moment. Imagine headlines like Governor Soludo promotes local music through dance. Not only would it show a fun side of leadership, it could also promote local musicians. After all, the video was harmless and could have been easily been spun in a um, positive direction. A lot of people have argued that the eight um, sack or dismissal was too harsh for what could have been seen as a minor error. Public opinions are different. While some agrees that leaking a private moment was unprofessional, other feels that the punishment didn't fit the offense. Was um, firing the eight too extreme for something that could have been handled with more grace? Um, this situation raised important question about how we handle public and private um, figures. Yes, they have responsibilities to the public, but they also have the right to enjoy a private moment. So let me know what you people think at the comment section. Please don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you are yet to do so. 
and um, so that you keep up with our latest updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.